Hey there everybody, this is TJ for Skullbanger Media. Uh, once again, I'm gonna do a board game review. I know this is a little bit of a rare treat. I don't get to do it much, but uh, I did get to start a board game club here in Finland and I'm at the actual facilities for that now. And I want to say thank you to the uh, community center here in Kuopia and Petonin uh, for allowing me to do this. And uh, a little bit better settings than what I'm usually used to. So anyway, with that said, I just wanna to get to the, the game review. We just uh, went through Halloween. Uh, so this is a little bit late for Halloween, but not much, but uh, obviously Halloween deals with uh, horror, zombies, slashers, things like that. So I uh, wanted to do uh, Carnival Zombie. Uh, I got this game uh, back in the summer while I lived here in Finland, and um, it's a little bit of a hard game to get a hold of, but it's, it's come uh, highly recommended by the few people that I've seen reviews for it, so I wanted to give my own review. And basically the premise is, is uh, you are in uh, the city of uh, Venice in Italy during Carnival. And there's a prophecy of a great Leviathan uh, on the back of which the city is built. It's going to awaken one day and sink the city. Well, that is happening, except no one got the warning because the Leviathan has died through the centuries and has become undead. So therefore, due to that, Everybody in the city has become zombies except your little group of survivors. And there's, you can find a few people along the way that kind of give you some benefits. But anyway, basically it's just you against the entire city of Venice. And uh, the game is made by a publisher, uh, Raven Distribution is putting it out. But the game is uh, Albe Pavo. I think that's who, who the game is made by. And uh, they're based in Italy, so you know they, they use a little bit of their own culture. They put it into the game. And... Uh, so a lot of people are probably going to ask, hey, there's tons of zombie games. What makes this one any different? Is it any different? Is it any good? Um, short answer to that is it is different, and yes, it is good. Um, I'll get into the game overview, and then I'll be back after the game overview and uh, give you my overall opinion on it. And so let's get to the game overview, and I'll be back right after that. Okay, so this will be my overview of the game. I'm obviously not going to go over all the rules. Uh, there's just a few too many to kind of get into and I want to keep it brief and um, interesting a little bit. So basically the game is you're a group of six survivors that you can play the game solo or up to six people and, and the characters are split that way. And you're trying to get through the city of Venice and out before the city sinks or you're killed by the zombies. So you start the game in three different locations depending on what difficulty you want to play in. You got easy, you got medium, and you got hard. So up here is the map of the city that you go through during the day. The main board is encompassing the area you are in at night trying to survive. So therefore the game is split from night and day and you have four days to get out of the city. So at night time, as survivors at the beginning of the night, you got what's called these barricades. You set them in these little box cubes uh, around your survivors, however you want to do it. And they're what keeps the zombies out as they rush in at night time. Now, once you do all this, you put your barricades up, you'll have certain terrains that come out that can either hinder or help you. Mostly they hinder you. Uh, but you got like this building, these manhole covers, and each one does different things that help the zombies. And there's a few cases to where you can actually uh, get some terrain out there that helps you, but usually it's bad things. So you, you place all these things out and uh, wherever the game cars, these nightmare cars, they'll tell you where south one which would be down here uh, that lets you choose where you want to put it so on like that so anyway you do that and then you draw a random cube out of this bag now this bag's got all different kinds of colored cubes white purple gray and green that represents the different types of zombies so if you're playing on medium you're going to deal with one boss character on your first night you draw out a cube it's white the boss should be a cylinder cube and so you're gonna be dealing with the doge, you pull a nightmare card and let's say he's up there. So once you do that, the first hour of each night, except for the dawn hour, three zombies come out in each ring on the outer rings out here. So you have three up here with this guy, then you put three around each, each ring of the game board, okay? And so on. Now, we'll just do that for time's sake, so. Once you do that, then the zombies move. Well, we got this Doge character out here, this boss character. He gives all the moving zombies two movement. 
normally they just move one except for these white ones they're dogs they move two so basically he gives every kind of zombie the ability to move two so they move two and they're going to come all the way up basically up to where you're hiding out at so after all the zombies move each character that you have gets to take a take an action and each character's got different actions they can take this is captain terror it shows his stats he's got uh, some sort of a remington gun it gets one shot it does one damage but it's explosive and it splashes and the range is one so he can only shoot to the first ring right here around him so he can shoot but it, he's going to do splash damage so he can shoot say right here where these green guys are at as long as he's in the right position and kill all of them with one shot now when you kill a zombie you got this little thing right here it's called the uh body pile or cemetery or whatever a pile of corpses so you got to take this it's kind of a little a little mini game and you got to drop the zombies onto it without them falling off if they fall off your character gains a stress or loses a life however you want to do it and this goes up this is your life meter down here and then you got to take that zombie and put him back on the board so you'll have to deal with him again so you do this each hour of the night for for whatever night you're on for three hours each hour a new set of zombies come out on the outer ring three each unless there's something that states otherwise at the dawn hour no zombies come out but you still have to deal with the zombies that are out on the board at the end of the dawn hour you have an opportunity to flee this part of the city so this is when you come up to the city map during the day uh, you got to flee wherever you're at according to how the map shows so if you're on medium the only way you can go out is either north or south and for each area you go to it costs an hour of daylight until the next night time and then you got to hold up again so during the day uh, say you want to go to uh, two spaces over here to area six it's going to take up two hours so you got two hours of daylight left during the daytime your characters get different actions according to what their character stats are that can help them you can search for items which comes into play you got each character's got a deck of about six cards six or seven cards for his guy and they're different items like uh captain uh, terror here he's got uh blessed bullets he's got braidings and and so on uh, uh this brig hell guy he's kind of your tank so he's got like a rocket launcher grenades m60s uh he's got a bipod all this different stuff so each character's got their own different things that they can help you so you can you can search for items you can rest to get your health back you can uh, use a character's special abilities, such as uh, Lady Columbine. As I mentioned earlier, you talk about these uh, territory or these terrains that can come out. All right, well, she's got a special ability that she, for each hour of day, if we have like two hours a day left, she can do this twice and remove terrains that will come out at nighttime. So in area six, there will be two blacks and two blue ter uh, terrains that come out those are those are bad terrains so if she does this twice she can remove two of those out of the four so that can help you out a lot um brig hell he's got uh, for his daytime thing he's got assistance which basically he can lose a life or gain a stress and use another character's ability so during the day it's very helpful to, to save a little time and not rush all the way through the map to try to get out because you won't survive that way uh, each character's got their own thing you can even build up barricades for whatever you lose at night time you know you can get three barricades per character per daytime hour uh, so it's good to kind of pace yourself but also kind of hurry yourself you got to really mix and match that up to uh, try to survive so if you do get through the city to one of these endpoints over here and there's also an airship and there's one spot where you can actually try to kill the leviathan uh that requires you to find the uh the grenade the holy grenade that uh, is an item of uh, one of your characters but other than that you're trying to get out of the city by airship by boat or by the land bridge and those i'm not going to get into that too much but those are little mini games in and of themselves so you got to survive the city get to one of those end games and get through that as well uh, the boat usually you, you're sailing along the marsh and you got to push the zombies off your boat and not and so they don't sink your boat um, We've done that one time the airship you got to radio the captain he uh, from area three Then you got to get to area seven and he'll pick you up. Uh, that was actually kind of a very basic one. It's almost like just a normal play game, but uh, But uh, you got to do all this before the end of night four if you're still in the city at the end of night four the city sinks and you're dead 
So anyway, that's uh, a brief overview of Carnival Zombie. Uh, basically, you're in the, this is the main board. You're in the center at nighttime. You got zombies that come around all the rings and they constantly swamp, swamp you and you gotta stay alive. So that's my brief overview. And I'll be back right after this and I'll give you my final impressions of the game. Okay, so that was my overview of Carnival Zombie. Now, let's get to what my opinion of the game is. I really like Carnival Zombie. I think it's one of the better zombie games that I have played. And I've played several of them, not all of them, but I've played several. Uh, probably, my, probably my favorite uh, zombie game in terms of theme uh, and so on would be Last Night on Earth in terms of capturing like a movie styled zombie game. Uh, now, I think uh, Carnival Zombie does the same same job, but in a different way. I, if you want to compare it to movies, while Last Night on Earth probably would encompass the American-style zombie horror film, I believe Carnival Zombie would be your art house zombie film. The artwork is very eccentric. Uh, the theme of the game, going through the streets of Venice as it sinks uh, on the back of some great leviathan, is very... Uh, I guess art housey, very different, a very different type of type of feel. So in terms of feel, I believe Carnival Zombie is right up there with Last Night on Earth, but in a different type of way. Uh, in terms of how the game plays, um, the game plays great. There's no dice, that's fine. Uh, actually, I think if you had dice, you'd probably make the game harder than, than what it is. The game is very difficult. Uh, and not because the rules are difficult per se, it's just the game, I mean, uh, you go into the game, you're, you're well equipped, your guys are very well equipped. But uh, uh, the game is out to kill you. Uh, you've got three different difficulties. Uh, you got easy, medium, and hard, which really I think it should be medium, hard, and impossible. Uh, if anybody plays the game on difficult, I would really like to see if they beat the game because uh, I'd like to see documented proof. I want to see video proof of an entire game session with nobody cheating, beating the game on hard. Uh, because you, you do need a little luck. Uh, my, uh, even though there's no dice involved, you do have to have a little luck. You have item cards that your characters can get and things that can kind of give you a little boost to get you a little bit further along the city map to get you out of the city. Uh, but, you know, uh, I know a lot of Meritrash games get, get ridiculed being just dice fest. You got to have luck. Stuff. Well, Carnival Zombie is a Euro zombie game, but you do need luck. There's some issues in it that you do have to have some luck to maybe get out. Uh, that doesn't make the game bad. It doesn't make it not fun. Uh, my game group, they like it. They like it. We play it. Uh, we've played it several times. We've lost several times. I've, I've, well, I've lost several times playing by myself. You can play it solo. But uh, uh, the last time we played, we got out on medium, but we got lucky. Uh, we got lucky by getting an item card that got us through certain parts of the city and uh, got us to where we needed to go. But uh, that being said, I highly recommend Carnival Zombie. Um, you've got... Uh, a unique premise you got a company based in Italy that decided to put some of their own culture into the game which I highly applaud I, I think that's really really interesting um, it's a different take on the zombie game uh, so if you can get the game it's a little hard to get especially in the States uh, give it a shot um, just be prepared for a difficult game uh, be prepared not to win but if you want to enjoy a game that you can play with some friends and, and really kind of, oh my God, what are we going to do? This is it, because you're going to have zombies coming at you. I highly recommend Carnival Zombie if you can get it. Hopefully they'll, they'll reprint it and uh, go for it.